Hi everyone, my name is Tiana and today I'm going to be sharing my green beauty favorites of 2017. I'm going to be sharing my top products, uh, green beauty products from 2017 and uh, <laughs> I feel like I'm always saying this but I'm really sorry that it took me so long. I've tried to film this several times and um, I d you might notice that I'm in a different location today and the reason for that is because my office has just become too dark. Uh, there's only one window, which normally gives really great diffused light in there, but it's become too cloudy in the sunsets too soon. So I haven't been able to film in there. And my other lighting, uh, the actual like lights that I have, they just look really dark. I didn't really like the way my past few videos have looked that I filmed at night. So I wanted to wait for natural lighting because that's what I prefer. So. Anyway, I don't want to ramble too long, but uh, that's that, and now we can finally get into this because I have a lot of stuff to get through, um, but I hope you enjoy. The first category I'm going to be covering is nail polish because I love nail polish, and I, that said, I do want to use more natural nail polishes um, than like the mainstream ones because my nails get pretty jacked up using actual uh, nail polish from the store like even OPI or um, like uh, what is it wet and wild like the really cheap ones they have really cool colors but it just my nails just get like so brittle and dry uh, and I noticed that when I use natural nail polishes that they don't actually get as jacked up so I've been <laughs> doing the best that I can to use natural nail polishes or like more natural because as you know uh, there's only so natural nail polishes can be but these are my top four for the year the ones that I reach for the most that I just found myself using over and over no matter the season or uh, occasion like I just I use these so much <laughs> but um, anyway so uh, the first one is Habit Cosmetics and this is Belle Epoch Epoch um, but yeah, it's a very beautiful lilac color. I really love how pretty this looks on the nails. It's like just a very pretty periwinkle blue or like lilac purple color. Um, it looks great in spring. It looks great in early fall. If you mix it with like deeper brown neutral tones, um, it looks really cool on Halloween with black nail polish. Um, and also in the holidays, you can mix this with like I don't know like I mixed it with navy and stuff like that so it looks really beautiful all throughout the season I love habit cosmetics they use these really cool bamboo um, what is it a uh, handle tops lids whatever um, for their uh, nail polishes that's it's made out of eco-friendly bamboo and they have their um, name habit at uh, laser etched into the lid or whatever this is called handle and then they use glass so it's very eco-friendly um, I really like that and I like that they are five free and um, I believe Habit also uses um, frankincense and myrrh like they're enriched with herbal extracts as well so that's pretty cool uh, so yeah that's that definitely loved this one the next one that I have is from treat collection I used a ton of these um, I have like a bunch in my collection. This one's called Wedding Day and it's basically like a kind of sheer cream color. It's very natural. It almost looks like your bare nail. Like it's definitely that kind of color you want to wear when you're not really interested in putting a color on your nail. You just want to look clean, put together. It'd be great for work or obviously if you're getting married, it is called Wedding Day. It's definitely got that like refined, polished look or if you have some kind of event but you don't want to be too flashy. This is a great one to wear. It's very beautiful and like I said, it's more of a sheer color. You can build this up to be opaque, um, but I usually just use it with just like one little wash of um, one or two layers and that works really well. And um, I love Treat Collection. They're also five free. Um, they're very clean. They use these very eco-friendly glass bottles um, and they look really classy and chic. So yeah, I really like those. <laughs> The next one that I have is Void Beauty, and this is just a base and top coat from Void Beauty. Um, Void Beauty is vegan friendly, they're cruelty free, and they're made in the USA. I really like that. And I like that they combine the top and base coat into one product because I'm not really that into buying like a shit ton of products. I like my products to be 
multi-purposed and so I really love that about these um, but yeah I, I just thought it was like great to use over normally I kind of tend to skip top coat because I'm really uh, not a I'm not that great at doing nails I just like having something on my nails um, but I noticed that I've been using that one because it's just very easy to just pop on the base put on the color and pop on top coat it's very simple so yeah I really like that and I like that they're cruelty free and the last color I have here is from Cure Bazaar they are a French nail brand and this one is in the color boyfriend and it's like a muted seafoam green I just really love this color honestly I find myself wearing it like all year long it's just the one that I reach for the most I think this one's like it's definitely like almost empty <laughs> Um, but I love that they use, again, glass packaging. Um, the top pops off if you prefer, like, the regular nail polish lid. Uh, if you don't like, this is kind of, like, weird to use when you're applying the actual polish. But I do really love this color. I just think that Cure Bazaar makes the most beautiful colors. They're definitely my favorite nail polish brand. Um, I find myself using them, like, a whole lot. And they last forever. They have great shine. Um, the, all the other brands here too, they also last pretty decently, but this one definitely, like, they don't tend to, like, crack or peel as soon as the other ones. These just tend to last, like, at least a week and a half, two weeks, and that's pretty good considering it's not gel or any kind of adhesive. Um, so yeah, uh, but yeah, if you do use, like, really hot water on your hands, it, it wears. It'll, like, not fade, but, like, the edges of your nails will start to not peel but the color will fade away faster um but yeah your nails won't crack and peel it'll just kind of like fade away if you're using like heat on it but any more natural nail polish that's not gel is going to do that and that's just a fact of life <laughs> but but yeah um love this one and i love their line i have tons of cure bizarre polishes they're like one of the first i discovered so um yeah but yeah so that's it for nail polish so let's move on Okay, so the next batch of products I have are like hair and body uh, and yeah, like hair and body general personal care products that I wanted to include. Um, and the first one I have here is the Healthy Locks Dry Shampoo from One Love Organics. I know that this one is discontinued and that makes me really sad because this one was my favorite. Um, it just smells really good. It has like a beachy scent to it. like. Like your typical One Love organic scents, like pineapple, coconut, tropical scented. Um, and I really like that the powder is super light. And I happened to stock up on this. I had like three of these. So it's like, this one's like almost gone. I'm so sad when it'll be gone. But um, yeah, I just really love this one. It doesn't irritate my scalp like a lot of dry shampoos tend to do. Um, and yeah, that's why it's been my favorite. I've just been reaching for it over and over again. Probably because I had three friggin sifting jars of this but um yeah it's been a favorite and I'm sad that it's once it's gone it'll be gone but I was told I forget who told me someone uh on Instagram recommended Captain Blankenship so maybe I'll try that next but yeah I don't want to dwell on this one too much because you guys can't go out and buy it sadly but yeah it was a good one it was good while it lasted Okay, so the next product I have is Mahalo Vacation Glow. If you guys follow my blog or my Instagram, then you know that I love Mahalo skincare, and there's a very good reason for that. It, they are sustainable, ethical, uh, locally sourced ingredients whenever possible. Um, the founder, Marina, is amazing. She's just one of the most genuine, sincere people, um, especially for a brand owner in my opinion like she just comes across just incredibly raw and honest and I love that about her but also her products are amazing they definitely deliver they deliver results um, they're nourishing and gentle but also effective and they're definitely like they feel very luxurious for instance this entire bottle um, the inside of its glass so like, there's this little metallic lid but the inside packaging is actually glass and then the outside is sustainable bamboo which has been laser etched and they laser etch the name of each product the brand and then like the actual ingredient list or whatever uh, oh no not the ingredient list um, just like how to use on the back and then handcrafted in Hawaii USA and their website it's just so beautiful like very eco chic luxury and I love that I love that their products 
look beautiful and work well and they're totally worth the money they are very expensive but um yeah i'm rambling anyway i love them but vacation glow in particular has a very herbal earthy scent and i love it as a body oil because it's very nourishing and protective especially in this like fall winter cold weather that tends to give me very dry skin if you have eczema or psoriasis breakouts or if you just tend to get very dry parched skin this is a great one to invest in because it definitely works really well on that um i definitely get some like eczema flare-ups this time of year and it definitely helps with that it smells really nice if you're into herbal scents not everybody is but i like it um, and I love the ingredients. It's definitely very antioxidant rich and protective. So yeah, this one been reaching for a ton this year. Um, so yeah, next product that I have is this Zaya hair oil, which I have loved for years. I think it even made it onto my last year top products of 2016. <laughs> Uh, I'm pretty sure it made it on that list too, but I love this hair oil. I've tried so many hair oils and I, uh, there's other ones that I like, but I always come back to this one. The scent is like amazing. Um, it comes in this like dropper bottle and you really only need like three to six drops depending on how thick your hair is, how long your hair is. And it just, it smells amazing. It's like frankincense, lang lang and uh, lavender and it's very like floral, but smoky and like sexy I don't know I just I love it it's very gentle it's light uh, a lot of oils tend to like sit on my hair this is an amazing oil because I, I sometimes use it uh, like second day hair if your hair is dry on the ends um, my, hair, my hair is wavy so it tends to like fray at the ends and this is great at like controlling that um, and like frizz and stuff and it's also great as a pre shampoo treatment right before you go in to take a shower um, it's great for like adding more bounce into your hair like if right before you go and shampoo your hair after it's been like a couple days or whatever but yeah this has so many uses to it and I love the way that it smells and it works really great for my like I have like fine medium coarse hair so it's like some parts are thick and then some parts are like I just my hair tends to be like limp because I have a lot of it but it's fine like more fine in texture I guess and it's wavy and so second day it just kind of like falls flat so using this before shampoo actually helps to keep the volume up which I really like and again it lends like a really nice scent so yeah loving this one they're eco-friendly um, I'm pretty sure all their products are vegan they're made in Canada and they all have this really beautiful like designs on their um, bottles or whatever and um, I'm pretty sure they use very ethical sustainable manufacturing processes which is really cool and then they sell these each product is sold in like this beautiful box that you can actually keep because it's it's it's, it, it's like artwork it's so lovely and um you can put like jewelry into it i have like a bunch of them that i've kept and put jewelry into or like little knickknacks or like hair bands or whatever and instead of throwing them away so they have a great kind of ethos about reusing even the packaging that this comes in and not throwing it out so i love that too okay so the last product i have that's kind of like body personal care is this love and salt spray from olivine i also have the love and roses but my friend was really obsessed with that scent so she kind of hijacked my last bottle um so i gave it to her she was really into that but this is the like beach hair summery coconut vanilla scent and you can use it on your body hair skin like whatever um and it's like a it's like a body mist but also a hair mist um and like a salt spray for your hair it smells amazing it has salt uh like epsom salt and um essential oils in it and so it's very gentle as coconut oil in it also and i just love that it smells like the beach <laughs> living in california most of the time it feels like spring summer weather i don't really get a whole lot of winter so i love this scent um, and I just love that it's very softening. It's also great if you have dry skin and you mist your body with this before putting a body oil like the Vacation Glow over the top. That works really well. Also, um, yeah, and I just like the way it smells. So it's great if I don't want to wear perfume. I just kind of like spray myself really quick and go.